everyone. Welcome to Talk To Us today. I'm Namita. And I'm Simrit. And today on Talk To Us today, we're going to be discussing something very important, loneliness. Now, this is a very serious and broad topic, but we're going to be specifically talking about loneliness in women. Now, most of us out there have experienced some form of loneliness at some point in our lives. Now, this feeling is not about being physically alone, but being part of a family, social group or relationship, yet still feeling alone and isolated. I'm a social person and I love being around my friends and family, but I also equally enjoyed solitude and time by myself. This time in, the, but there are times in life where it felt truly lonely, like nobody understood me. It's not about love. It's about being heard or being understood in life. Now, it's just like nobody gets me. That feeling leads to extreme feelings of isolation. When these feelings linger on, it can make one almost physically ill. I remember days of someone had passed away and I could barely get out of bed. It wasn't just grief. It started being like nobody understood what that person meant to me. It can be the biggest struggle just to do your day-to-day -day chores. And the problem becomes worse when we start going into our shelves and becoming reclusive, right? So not only are we feeling lonely and depressed at this point, but we're shutting ourselves out from any help that we, that's offered outside. Absolutely. And you know, Simrit, loneliness is nothing. It's just state of mind. And that state of mind is affected by our social space. And when I right. think deeply into it, I feel like mind and our body and our social space is so interconnected. You know, our social space keeps our mind busy. We're thinking, looking, you know, all the time. And that, that, and that time, there's no loneliness. So when yeah. our environment, you know, when our environment changes or disrupted, that's when, you know, the whole loneliness picture comes in. Uh, yeah, you're also picture. talking like the environment where like somebody passed away. So the environment changed, right? Yes. That's what you mean. Yeah. Right. Yes, if somebody passed away or you have a breakup or you're being around so many people, all of a sudden it right. just, you know, they're not there. Maybe if there's yeah. a change of place, change of workplace. So, you know, right. you're not, your mind is not used to a, this kind of atmosphere. And that yeah. minds, you know, it just, it gets a shock. Oh, what right. just happened, you know? So yeah. that's when, that's when you need to push yourself to keep your mind busy. So when your environment changes, as we mentioned, because of because of the breakup or the friend moving away Whatever. or yeah. change of space, yeah, just distract your mind. Distract it. Give it some social or visual or auditory, like listen to music, watch a movie yeah. or something, you know, something like that. Just distract the mind. And as you yeah. know, um, brain, brain plasticity is such a magical thing, you know? So... You know, you, when you give new input to your brain, your new uh, information to process and, you know, brain start getting adjusted to it. Yeah. And then, you know, it's like training your brain to the new environment. And right. then the loneliness vanishes away. Or reduces for sure. So like, we want to make it clear. We're not saying that if you're feeling some kind of major depression or something, that's nothing. Please, we both are not psychiatrists or counselors. These are just tips for overcoming feelings of loneliness that we get when something changes and we are not prone to these feelings. If you're feeling depressed or overwhelmed, please do contact a professional psychiatrist or therapist or a counselor. They all help a lot. We're just talking about our day-to-day -day struggles which cause feelings of loneliness. But as mentioned by Namita, distraction is a wonderful thing. It's so funny. If you try to get your mind off of things, whatever is bothering you, it helps. If you keep Absolutely. dwelling, the feelings don't change. If you overthink something, it just intensifies those feelings. So especially when you're down, remember the famous saying that this too shall pass. Yes. And you know, the fact is women are more social and they, you know, tend to invest deeper and, you know, more into more meaningful relationships. 
Yet Correct. when these relationships break down, I mean, the hurt is also mm-hmm. deeper and creates a kind of vacuum with, which results in loneliness. Yeah. And you know, also the professional women, they are facing more loneliness these days. They, they're busy with their work, raising kids, taking care of the family, home. And while doing so, we don't end up discussing our feelings, our problems with anyone. And we're not able to invest into our friendships as well because of our busy schedule. And, yeah. you know, as we know, like men don't feel the need to interact the way women, <laughs> right? So yeah. they can't even talk to their husbands. Right. Right. So it, it just kind of creates a vacuum and which further enhances the feeling of loneliness. Now, for all of us out there who believe that our mothers and grandmothers didn't have husbands who wanted to communicate with them, or like nowadays we would say just partners because it doesn't have to be a husband, but the men of that era didn't even know what was going on in the households. Yet those women were not lonely. You know, I hear people talk like, hang on, hang on, guys. First of all, we don't know if they were lonely or not. Let's not like shut that down completely. And I don't buy that argument. There were women who were suffering from depression and loneliness, postpartum depression, but those weren't, those discussions weren't encouraged, right? So they faced it all by themselves and dealt with it. But also what's important at is that what we forget is that most of these women had very strong female bonds in their life. Now, the networks were, whether good, bad, or different, all there for them. There were the sister-in-laws and mother-in-laws who they complained yeah, about. family, what? the joint, yeah, joint, joint family, family right? set up was. Yeah, yeah. so the Great. joint family, they were like, people will say, but they were constantly fighting. Yeah, they were, but they were also jointly doing the household chores, bringing up the kids, and sitting and, compl- and like, you know, everything and complaining about their husbands together. So and that, I think that fight- I would say fighting is also a way of distracting your mind. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that true? I mean, we fight with our parents, with our siblings. Why is that so like overwhelming uh, or something? You know yeah. what? Like, encourage- it's, it's a little bit like, don't make it nasty, but it's okay. So the women of the neighborhood who would like come in for a quick cup of coffee with chai ke liari, and then they would share like, oh, you did, did you hear this? Or you could call it gossip. Men thought it was gossip, but it was them distracting themselves from the fact that they lived in this, you know, fairly small enclosure and had to deal with a lot of stuff. But they invest, they, they had no choice but to invest heavily in these female relationships who would help them with the day-to-day problems. So that's what we're lacking. We're professional women, we're out there, we're coming home, we're doing everything. What are we lacking? We're lacking would, you relate they, this, would you relate this women get together uh, in the past with this kitty parties today, which- I don't know, I don't know. I, I, I'm not offending anyone, but I'm not a kitty person. <laughs> And I, I, I kind of like, I know, I'm whoever, judgmental. Yeah. Yeah. I know it's okay. Whoever wants to, yeah, if there is, this Absolutely. is the way to be connected with your friends, then go for it. Absolutely. It, it, it's, Absolutely. it's completely, you know, based on individual to individual. So, yeah. No, no, no. I encourage it, man. If you, it's not for me, but there's a lot of things that I do are not for you guys out there. Yeah, of course. So, I mean, too. that exactly. But that's not the point. You have to do what's right for you guys. So if that helps you keep connected with the female network, you know, these, the, what are they called? The strong goddesses of today, do it. Invest in your female relationships. Call that friend when you're feeling low that look what this guy is doing. Don't worry about what people with, just unburden your minds, right? That's the way to keep saying it. That's what it is all about. And you know, uh, I find it really funny, but you do feel lonely when things are out of your control or many times it can be health related or it just be physically, you know, you're feeling physically blah, or I feel it as well sometimes, but you know, what always works for me, just get moving. No, there are days where you don't feel like getting up from the bed or showering or going anywhere that's the time you need to move the most. So don't yeah, care yeah, what people yeah. would think, just go out in your pajama, just move out, get out in the sun, stretch your body, or go out in the balcony or garden, wherever you can go, just get moving. 
you know, push yourself. Even yeah, I would say even inch by inch would really you know help. And if yeah. you have the energy, push yourself to go for a walk or run or to mall or anywhere. And yeah. if you can pick up a sport, nothing like it. Just go for it. At least you will have a buddy to you know play with, where you can just talk and chit chat. Yeah. So why not? Right. Or get that competitive sweat. Sweating is great. I I think sweating is a great mood buster. Like it helps your mood, right? Oh, yes. Thinking of just waking up in the morning and being in the balcony and stretching. If you have less space, or just doing a Surya Namaskar, one Surya Namaskar. Round and it just enlightens your brain, like your whole body feels fresh. Physical it helps workout. a lot. Yeah, physical yeah. workout where you sweat, you do anything, really helps. Really helps. And I'm a music lover, so my biggest thing when I go to workout is, or even when I'm feeling low and like alone, even at night, like if I'm by myself and something's bothering me, I play music, whether on my AirPods or blaring from the speaker or just on my phone. Don't play the sad, heartbreaking songs, which I really like. I'm like the old school Lata Mangeshkar, Kishore Kumar, like the heartbreak. But don't play that when you're down, even though you want to like dwell and listen to the lyrics and think they all make sense. No, change the pace. Play upbeat music. Do yeah. Mithun's da Kishore yeah. Dancer or Punjabi trucker music, which is my favorite, which I talk about. Yeah, I buy play, yeah. play stuff that like would trick your brain again. Right, exactly. mood, mood becomes better. It's a funny organ. Your brain is—you can justify anything. You can trick it into temporarily forgetting what is what's bothering it. And once yeah. you do, you will see the better side of life. Isn't it beautiful? We have solution to our problems inside us. It just yeah. we need to put our mind uh, to it. Right. You know, uh, yeah, and you know one thing uh, I would suggest not to do when you're lonely. I mean, we're feeling that low, like maybe you weren't being invited to a party or your best friend is hanging out with somebody else. Please, please don't go to social media to make yourself. Oh, yeah. Bad. Good tip. Good tip, Namita. That's a good one. I mean, in fact, do That's the opposite. One. Try and stay <laughs> off, off social media, because as we said earlier, experts say that people uh, who are connected online constantly may feel more lonely offline. Yeah. So instead, watch a movie with your friends or a family member who is around or go out or binge watch uh, with, with somebody, but don't watch it alone. Whatever series you're yeah. watching, you have to, if you do, you know, because end of the day, you, you know, you feel more down when you yeah. watch it alone. So instead, or maybe, you know, uh, start reading a book or write your feelings and then burn that page. What, I mean, what's the deal? Just, you just need to let it out, whatever is inside you. Yeah, my cousin used to do this. She would, um, like when she would be really like worked up, she used to write pages on pages and then just light a candle. And she said it was so cathartic. I, I mean, that's awesome. <laughs> Writing and reading for me is big. I don't know if it helps, but if it helps any of you guys out there, do it. Like talk to the mirror, say all your feelings out loud. Look at yourself while doing it. Definitely, you'll be like a chaho gal. That's enough. I'm done with this. <laughs> Said and done, one, and finished. <laughs> yeah, one one sure way of like feeling good if your whole environment has changed and stuff. So, you know, we're not talking about something. That, solutions will come. Life will pass on. That's the truth. But one surefire way to feel better in the long run is to do some form of charity, whether big or small. Go yeah. to a gurdwara or a homeless shelter and distribute food to the lesser fortunate people. Trust me, it feels good. Go and feed the locality dogs. Make it a weekly, you know, Sunday morning or Sunday evening thing. Um, even help your mate or driver or anybody around you who's not fortunate enough to celebrate their child's birthday. Bake them a cake. You don't have to like, you know, go buy them things or do, just bake them a little cake and say, this is for your kid. That smile on their face will like last with you and will, will help you a lot my mother-in-law knits sweaters for homeless kids and she'll just go to the like you know the 
um, crossings in India. Unfortunately, we have a lot of children there. And she gives it to them. It not only gives her a sense of purpose, but it's a good deed and it lifts your spirits. So it's, a, yeah. I mean, it's and the feeling is amazing when somebody takes it and they smile and they thank you and that feeling of gratefulness is, is really amazing. So I think the takeaway is if you're feeling lonely or low, start moving out. Talk to your friend, just get out of the house and keep your eyes open how you can distract your mind. I mean, as we mentioned earlier, the brain can be fooled into feelings anything we want it to, right? And learn to fool your brain. And I'm sure. Ah, that's the mantra for today. Fool your yes, brain. Fool your brain. That's the and, mantra. <laughs> yeah, and sure enough, you will feel better. Yeah, fool your brain. Great. That's true for many of us, but again, just to repeat what we said uh, uh, earlier, if none of this helps and you're still feeling extremely overwhelmed, please contact a therapist or psychiatrist. We've mentioned some numbers below in the description box of the, you know, the YouTube description box below our video. Do contact them. We have these numbers. Um, I personally know some people who have been really benefited from these people in particular who we've mentioned. Otherwise, look around but don't put it off too long go as soon as you feel some sometimes just where we sometimes feel hesitant don't feel hesitant go to a professional that's what our mantra is get moving fool your brain and if you can't do that contact a professional so that's all on talk to us today we look forward to hearing from you all so if there's anything you guys liked about our show please do let us know in the comment section we love hearing comments and emails from you uh we're constantly looking for them uh it's wonderful when you guys reach out to us let us uh let your friends know where to find us and let us know if there are any topics you guys want us to talk about absolutely and please please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to stay notified of our new videos every friday at 6 p.m and thanks for yes. joining us on talk this today Remember, Remember to, to talk. Yeah. <laughs> talk to we always today. kind of, you know, overlap this. You want to do it together? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So remember to talk about talk this today. Keep, Keep smiling. smiling. Keep, Keep laughing. laughing. And, and Keep talking. Keep talking. Yes. Have a great week, guys. See you on Friday. Thank you for joining us. Bye.